Welcome to new section. In this section, we will set up our lab for a practical. Before go into the lesson, make sure you watched all previous lectures. Let's get started. We will need to download Kali Linux ISO file. And also we need VirtualBox setup file. To run our lab on Windows system, we will moving on step by step. But before, first, enable virtualization on your window, if disable. Go to Windows setting advanced mode and search for virtualization technology. Here the setup will be off by default. Select on option and enable it, then save it and restart your PC. Let's download VirtualBox from official website. Click on the download option for latest version. Here choose for according to your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I will choose Windows Hosts options. Wait for a few moments, it will be downloaded. Let's download another setup, which is Kali Linux ISO file, from their official website. Click on this link. will redirect to home page of Kali Linux ISO website. Here you can download different type of setup as you need. Scroll down here is option, installer. Scroll download little bit. And click here to download. Wait for download complete. We download these two setups successfully. Let's install it. First, install VirtualBox. After installation VirtualBox, we will install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. Or we can use any other virtual machine for use multiple operating system on window. Here type name. Then choose Debian latest version. Then next, increase hardware memory and processor according your system.
Then next, increase disk size. Next, and finish the basic setup. Choose the file and click on setting. Then advance option and change shared clipboard and drop down to bidirectional. In display setting, increase video memory and enable 3D acceleration, then storage option. Here we will upload ISO Collie Linux file. In network setting, we set our bridge adapter. Bridge adapter provides each virtual machine with a unique IP address within the physical network subnet. Virtual machine get their IP address, not from a virtual DHCP server, but from the physical router in your network. Then click OK. Our Kali Linux file attached with virtual machine. It's time to install Kali Linux in virtual box. Click on the start. It will start Kali Linux setup. Click on graphical install. Select language. Select your location. Configure the keyboard. Give you host name and then continue. Leave domain name empty. Give a name for the user. Click to continue. Enter your password. And continue. Configure the clock and continue. Use entire disk and continue. Choose partition disks and continue. Write the changes to disks to yes and continue. This installation will take some time. Choose the software selection. By default it's OK. But we will choose GNOME. Click to continue. Install Grub Bootloader. Grub Bootloader initializes hardware and loads the Linux kernel at startup.
After some time, installation successfully finish. Here is our user account. Click on name and give user password. We successfully installed Kali Linux in VirtualBox. For extra features, we will install Guest Edition. First of all, update and upgrade your all packages. If you don't, it may be given error, package unlocated. I will put these all command in a description. Reboot now. Install the package. Package install successfully. Now, go to device and insert guest edition CD image. Then go to file manager. Click on this CD icon. And copy all files. and paste it in Documents folder. Go to Document Directory. Check the files. Give execute permissions for everyone for this file. and run the file. Then reboot now. Log in your account. Now your guest edition is ready. We cover our lab with step by step for ethical hacking. If you have any question comment below. If you face any error, make sure setup files should be updated. So, that's it. See you in the next lecture.